Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to my video. I am Mickey D. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you, and if we have, it's always good to see you again, and you know that. Now, today I have a Timu haul, Timu haul number 34. 34 is going to consist of, I have six orders here. I don't know that I can get through all of them, but what I'm going to do, as I say that, I'm going to set my watch to start right now so I'm gonna see I'll be able to gauge how long I've gone and hopefully I don't go too far uh, past the mark I don't want to be here too long but I want to get through these orders like I did in the last one so I'm not gonna waste time talking I'm gonna jump right in and as I jump right in I'm going to let's see I've got two of them sitting right here so let's start with this one and as I'm opening this envelope I'm going to go ahead and say that Timu is an online marketplace. They have many, many sellers on the site. It is a website where you can go and purchase pretty much, I'm not going to say anything, but you can get a lot on the website. Lately for me, anything that I've been looking for, I've been finding. For example, I ran out of those dryer beads. Uh, that you put in the dryer to smell really good and the store where I bought them has not restocked and I'm like I don't want to run out because I don't want my laundry to not have that beautiful scent so I mentioned it to my daughter and she said why don't you go on the Timu website I would have never thought to go there me of all people I would have never thought to check so I'm like that is a good idea I check for everything else this envelope is empty now I check for everything else and I didn't think to go to Timu. So of course I go to Timu and there they are, the dryer beads. So at a great price and they were even having a cyber deal, cyber deal price. So I got my dryer beads. So I guess I'm telling you that story to say, when I say they have everything to, from A to Z almost, um, so far, I haven't been disappointed with whatever I've been looking for. So, check out Timu and check there first. If you're looking for something, you might be able to save money. You might not have to leave your house. It's free shipping and free returns if you sent the wrong one. And if you do find something that you like in this haul today, I have a discount code of OPT43129. If you download the app, search that code at the end of your purchase or pop it in there, you can save 30% off your order and they'll even offer you a $100 coupon bundle. So there's a lot of benefits to shopping on Timu. So with that being said, here's the first envelope. And in this envelope is something very appropriate. And what it is, is this, um, oh, actually there's two things in here. The first thing that I pulled out is this nail clipper. I don't know if you guys caught my haul where I hauled a bunch of press on nails, tons of them. And um, so I wanted to have this nail clipper to be able to clip them and make them shorter. Now I have one already, but the one that I have has this fancy little basket attached to it. So it kind of makes it hard to use. So I want to see if this one is going to be a little easier to use. So with that being said, please ignore my nails tonight. because I was actually getting ready to put these on, some white ones. And... Uh, someone had asked me in my comments on one of my videos to do a short demonstration on how easy it is to put the nails on. So I paused. So my nails are not the cutest right now, but they will be probably in the next video. But um, I wanted to go ahead and record this video anyway. So this is what the, oh, let me just take it out. Um, this is what it looks like. And for my nails, when I go ahead and put a new pair of press-on nails on, I cut all of my weak ones really low like this. I cut them all the way down so they can grow out healthy. So please ignore what my nails look like, especially this one. This one has a little, I cut it all the way down because there's a slit that goes down this thumb for some reason and it grows with a slit in it. And so as it starts to get longer, it just splits in this section right here in two. So I cut it all the way down, hopefully to let that grow out. 
But this is what the nail clipper looks like in my hand. And you just mash it like that. You stick the nail like there, however short you want to cut it. So this is great to have, and I like how this feels in my hand. It feels very nice, very ergonomically correct, and easy to use. And it looks like that little razor that's happening right here is pretty sharp, and it's going to give me a good cut. So, and these nails that I just showed you that I will be putting on, I do, I probably will cut these a little because I don't like them too long. I like more of the active length. So, again, forgive how my nails look tonight, but I wanted to wait to put those on so I can record the video for, I believe the name is P. Nichols. Um, don't quote me on that, but you know who you are. So I'm saving my nails to do a video to show you um, how I put them on. Now this next item is something for my diamond haul crafting sets. If I can just see where it opens. And basically it's for magnifying the canvas and where you're putting the beads. So you get two of these in here. And what they do is you see how this loops? Let's open it up. Okay. So it has a loop on here like this. And this loop loops over the pencil, uh, the pencil uh, that you use to put the diamond. What am I trying to say? You know, the pole, it's like a pencil or a pen, but it's like it loops on there. So you can have the magnifying glass as you get close to it. So it just loops on your pen. And as you get close, the magnifying glass will show you what it looks like, you know, on the diamond painting. So you don't have to strain your eyes. I have yet to start a diamond painting, but I am so looking forward to starting them because they really look like they're going to be a lot of fun. And I have quite the collection and I have... Uh, been ordering accessories to make the experience uh, more enjoyable but you get two of these in a package and so I've got those set aside ready to get started with my diamond paintings now the next bag in this order this says $2.96 I'm not sure if that's right or not did I write prices on these I actually did um, this nail clipper was 49 cents and these diamond kit magnifying glasses were 99 cents so that's what i paid on those this one again was 296 and in this bag this is <laughs> something that uh i don't know that everybody has a need for these but i think i definitely can benefit from it and it's to kind of keep your jewels well, how do I say uh, dry and not sweaty like when you get out of the shower and you're all moist and um, you're trying to dry off and if you are well in doubt like I am it would be nice to have these to hang them you put it around your neck well I'll show you'll see the pictures on the screen of how it works and then it's just, it's like a towel for them, if you will, for lack of a better description. But it's made out of this soft, fuzzy, wuzzy material on the outside and on the inside. It's like a light, I don't know, nylon. I don't think polyester, but it's like a light fabric on the inside here. And it will just help keep them dry so you're not feeling sweaty and moist, you know, as you're getting ready. So I thought that that would be great to have. Um, okay, let's put that over there. And then this item here. Now, I had hauled these before, but a different style. These were $4.68. Now, when everything comes in these bags, I never know if they're returns or if they are actually a new pair of shoes. But I'm not going to worry about it. I did want to mention it because it does bother me a hair. Because I know what brand new ones look like from in the beginning. But now I feel like they are repurposing returns. So 
it's a pair of shoes and I got these in black with a gray bottom like this one and all black and then I ordered uh, I ordered them in this shade you know with this gray and black design with the gray bottom and I have two other designs in these shoes that I've ordered which I think that I might be able to get to hauling them tonight but it is a nice looking shoe let me see if I can fill it out for you and make it look a little better than what it's looking right now but I like the style of these shoes I like how comfortable they are and I like how you can dress them up a little bit they don't just look like tennis shoes but they kind of have the comfort of a tennis shoe but they can also look like a shoe shoe as well so I uh, like this style and they were marking these down so much that uh, you know at really decent prices so I said you know what this would be a great time to stock up on these so those like I said were $4.68 which I think is an excellent price for a pair of shoes now this next item was $3.68 Again, it's in a Timu bag and not original packaging, but I'm going to just trust that these have not been worn. I mean, the price is great. And this, this is a cute shoe. It's not the season for them anymore, but they'll be ready for next season. And that's these shoes right here. And they're nice and light and airy. I'm trying to turn them around for you. They came in various colors. Um, but this is the color I thought, you know, would go with pretty much everything. You know, a very neutral type of color. And it's just a cute slip-on shoe. I like the look of it. And I'm particular about shoes and how they look. I don't want them to look too old-fashioned. And I don't want them to look too in fashion. <laughs> um, like too trendy. But I thought this kind of hit the mark. You know, a nice uh, in-between fashion where pretty much any age could wear this shoe and kind of still feel like they had a decent shoe, a comfortable shoe, and a stylish shoe. And again, this uh, leather, if it is leather, uh, is nice and thin, and this sole is very light, so it looks like it might have some weight to it, but if you felt how they feel in my hand, they're very light, and I like that about them. I think they'll be very comfortable. And, you know, it's cold right now, so I do have time before I will give those a wear. I can wear them around the house, but not anywhere outside. And again, those were $3.68. Well, what I paid was $3.68. I will have a link to all of this in the description box as well as in the first pinned comment, like I always do. And I always include pictures on the screen so you can see what they look like as well as the price that I paid that's what you'll see on the screen but when you click on the links you're gonna see the current price so just be aware of that now this last item what I have for a price on this one one dollar and eighty seven cents so what's in this one dollar eighty seven cents oh it's a shirt a black shirt oh it says but God there was no way but God oh wait but God there was no way but God made a way what a very positive uh, message there nice shirt I like the colors kind of the holiday colors as well speaking of which I'm wearing my Timu Christmas shirt that has a little animal print on the sleeve the stripes and then the three christmas trees does it say anything it says merry and bright i don't want to take it off here let me be careful now trying to flash the goods had to charge it in okay so yeah i got this shirt and this is probably an xxl because i like all of my stuff to be very comfortable and loose fitting so it has that same it's the same fabric like this. It's poly cotton. What do they call it? Polyester. Uh, well, it says 100% polyester. So I think they do something, though, with their polyester. It doesn't feel like the old school polyester, but it's got a nice feel to it. It's a nice cotton feeling polyester, if that makes any sense. But I like the message of it. So, And, of course, it's black. 
and black kind of goes with everything and then the red and the white so it's a good uh, shirt to wear for this winter season even though it is short sleeve um, and I said it was a buck 87 you can't beat that now this next package here let's see let's open this one up and let's find out what we got in here this package has a few electronic items yeah, a couple electronic items and another <laughs> repeat purchase. So there's only one, two, three, four, five items here. Let's go ahead and knock these out. The first electronic is this is another item for the diamond kit. Um, for the diamond kits. And this item, it's a flashlight. And you can use this for other things as well, but it's it's like pliable where you can bend it different ways but it is designed to put around your neck how do i turn it on um, 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 um you put it around your neck okay okay that's how they do it okay i got it you put it around your neck like if you're doing a diamond painting and you're bending over and you want to look and see you know the item so you can position the lights wherever you need the light right and then you just, there's buttons. Oh, hold on, let me turn them off. There's buttons here. And you push the button and it turns the lights on. And wherever, like if I'm trying to read something on this box, I can just direct it to that spot on the box to light it up. So I thought this was pretty cool. And this is probably good for if you're reading at night, reading a book in bed at night, or if you're trying to, like if you're a plumber maybe and you were laying on your back trying to fix something above you and you needed to see like straight up, look at that. So I thought this was a cool thing to have. Um, I think I have, they have three settings. That's one. Okay, so they get brighter, low, medium, and bright. Okay, so yeah, this was kind of cool. And I know that for the diamond painting kit, I'm trying to make sure I have everything that's going to make that uh, more enjoyable and a little easier on the eye. So that's this item. And the price that I have written for this is $2.35. Now this item here is something that every home should have. And this is for all the electronics that we're constantly, or at least that I'm constantly buying trying to make sure that my uh that my stuff is up to date and accurate and that's a power strip and a good power strip one that has not just the power outlets but this one has three usb ports here and then it has one usb c right yeah and then how many one two three so five so eight power uh, outlets and then three USBs and one USB-C and today with things changing and all of this new stuff being added and you know the USB is phasing into the USB-C you want to be ready with things that you can use to plug them in without having to need them as you go um, but yeah so you want to be ready when um, you buy if you're buying new things because they're a lot of things are switching to USB-C and um, it has a little button right here where you can uh, just, it's a little toggle button. You just mash it down or mash it up and that'll turn it either on or off. And when it's plugged in and it is on, it has a nice uh, blue light that lights up so you can see if it has power to it. Okay, the next thing in this item, now this is another repeat purchase this was 39 cents i don't know if this is the second or third one of these things i feel like i have so many of these now and there were two sizes that this came in there was a large and a small i'm not sure which one this is because the other one i think i put in my car but it could be the smaller one it could be the larger one but 39 cents Great to have, great to use on your laptop to keep it nice and dust-free. So you can put these anywhere. You can use it for your 
the mirror or your, you know, to clean your screen has a lot of uses. So I have, I think I have three of them. I don't think you can have too many of them because things definitely around my house get very dusty. Now this next item here is for the fingernails as well. These were 37 cents and they come in a pack of five. And what it is is to push back your cuticles. So let's see. In fact, I can use this when I put on those nails because I needed something to push my cuticles back. You know, you just take it and I guess that's how you do it. Like you can, it, I feel like it's kind of like a file, like a very, it doesn't feel very abrasive though, but it's enough, I think, to just kind of file away your cuticles in an effort to push them back to get them ready. So that's what it feels like it's doing. It feels like it's filing like a dry file, just getting the cuticles pushed back. And then it has a little skinny uh, part at the top to allow you to really get in there and push them back. Now, so anyways, my screensaver just kicked in, but I know it's still recording, so I have to figure out how to change that. But yeah, you get five of these, and actually, like I said, let me leave one out. Let me leave that one out, because I will be, ooh, just dropped it, always dropping something. Okay, I will definitely be using that, and I will definitely be using those very soon. Then the last item in this was more diamond painting um, supplies, diamond painting kit supplies. And that's two of these. These were 76 cents each. And they are the containers to uh, put your diamond kit drills in. And drills are the little stud pieces or the little rhinestone looking pieces. That's what they call them. And this is to use to separate them because you're going to have so many different colors of them. Oh, we have two latches right here on the side. I like when they have latches like this. And then it opens up. And inside, four times seven. I mean six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, four times seven. So there's 28 different little compartments and they come in slots of four like that. And then they each open individually as well. So, and you know, that's very important because the drills and the diamond kits are very small. So you definitely don't want to have something where just all four of these open up. And then if this spills, you got them all over the place. So, um, each kit has, you know, the drills needed for that kit. So that's why it's good to have different versions. I'm um, not versions, but different, a different amount of these things. I got two in this order. And um, I got two because if I wanted to start two different kits, I know that I can have room to separate all the different color drills that come with those kits. So, okay, so that's two orders. Let's go on to order number three. And we're, how are we doing on time? Because I forgot to check. 23 minutes, okay. So let's go on and open this one. And I have to turn it around because I didn't use my stamp to change my address because um, the stamp ran out of ink and I bought ink to replace it and I put it in there, but the ink just dripped out and it didn't replenish the, uh, the, the stamp. So I don't know. I'm not happy with them <laughs> anymore. Once they go dry and you put the ink in it, you would think that it would just start working again, but that's not the case for me anyways. All it did was make a mess on my desk. Now these items here are, let's, let me look and make sure that I'm saying it correctly. This one right here is, these are things for around the home. This one is, uh, let me see something. Let me use my handy dandy light that I bought from Timo and see what this is. Because one is like a, sticky tape this was 29 cents and 
trying to see what the differences are. I'll have them on the screen because one is like for uh, window proofing your window, like weather proofing your window to keep the drafty out. I think that's what these are. I got two of these, a dollar 83 cents. So I got two of these and they look like just sticky tape, nice thick sticky tape, but I think these are the ones that are for window proofing or weather proofing the windows in the winter. I just can't see where it starts or anything, but it's a, a thick tape. I don't know where that even, I don't even see a line of demarcation. Oh, here we go. Okay, let me see if I can pull it back a little. And we can see. But it just looks like a nice, thick, sticky tape that you're going to use to uh, weatherproof your windows if you have drafty windows to keep the cool uh, wind out. I can't get this thing to separate, but I wanted to try to do it so we can see how thin, or I can see how thin and then show you guys that I didn't cut off my fingernails that I would really use. Try one more time. Oh yeah, this is gonna be hard to start. But anyways, that's what this is for. And in my bedroom, I got this for my bedroom because I have a really big window and it's an older window. When I bought this house, I updated all of the windows except for this big one in my room and the patio because those two alone cost more or about the same as all the other windows of the house. I did every other window, but these two cost the same amount. I think it was the same amount or if not more, and this was years ago. So my window is drafty. So I got this and I like how it's just tape. Like it's just like a clear tape. So I hope this is enough to just go over all the seams of the window so that I can weatherproof it and kind of keep it cozy in here. And then this one, I'm not sure because I don't have my phone here that I can check. I actually do, but I don't want to take the time to do it. This was 29 cents and I got one of these. And I'm not sure of what it is, but whatever it is, <laughs> you're gonna see it on the screen. And um, if it is, because one was for the screen to repair holes in the screen. And I feel like that could be this one. Let me just look real quick again. Never really says on the package. Oh, it does. It says screen tape. Duh. Let me see what this one said. If it said anything. This one says transparent. That's all it says on this one, but I'm pretty sure this was for the window proofing. So this one is the screen one. And I got another one because I ordered this before. And the one that I ordered before, I've used it on my screen. There was actually a tear right around the handle. Like this is the handle and the screen was ripping right here. It was ripping away from the handle. So I put a piece on the outside like that and then a piece on the inside. And it totally fixed the hole. So I said... It's good to have this, so that way if any more repair, or re necessary repairs come up, then I will have enough to take care of it. Um, next, I'm going to share with you, now this looks like double-sided tape. This was 33 cents, and this says, of course, I wrote on top of it. Yeah, it says 26 feet. So I'm pretty, ooh, I hope I wasn't blind to you. This says 26 feet, and this is clearly double-sided tape. You can see that. So it has, it's already ripped open, so let's see. So you can see, it's just double-sided tape. And yeah, right here. That's exactly, so when you wanna hang something, and it's very sticky. So this is going to be great. You can probably use this for some fingernails <laughs> if you run out of adhesive, which I'm not going to do because I bought plenty of that. But, um, but yeah, I didn't show you if you haven't seen this before, but this for the screen peels off. So when you peel it off, 
it's sticky and then you put it on the, your screen and then you peel off the top part and then you stick a piece on top of that so you sandwich them in so you put the sticky part on the screen the other sticky part there um and then that's how they work and they work very well it and my hole is holding it's been holding and Janae's dog honey likes to jump on the screen a lot and it hasn't weakened it so this item right here is something that you use to put over a can of vegetables or um, like corn, uh, beans, 89 cents is what it says here. And you just put it on top of the can to drain it. So if you don't, if you didn't want the juice, dang. These bags are getting stronger. This isn't one of the ones that just lifts up, I don't think. Oh, of course it is. Okay, so this is if you want to strain your vegetables or whatever cans you have. It's silicone. It has a bunch of holes in it, and it sits right over your can. It's obviously not going to fit over any can, but, you know, whatever can that this can accommodate, it does have a little bit of give to it, but not that much. But it does have some. And you just, you know, finagle it on there. And then you just pour it that way. And you can drain your beans, like pinto beans, black beans, corn, string beans, um, whatever, you, mushrooms, whatever comes in a can and it has juice in it. If it's the right size can, then this just makes it easy to strain and get the juice out. So I like my little kitchen gadgets that make things easy. And I said that was 89 cents. This item here is 74 cents, and let's open it up and see what it is. Let's see here. Oh, this is another measuring tape because I, uh, <clears throat> when I go to the gym once a month, we have to do our measurements. And this just makes it so easy to do because it has that curve in it and it has this slot. So you pull it out like that and you stick it in the slot. So it gives you that curvature that you need when you're measuring something. So that way, it's like when you do it like that and then you hit the button and you can make it tight like that on whatever you're measuring. And then this mark right here tells you what the measurement is. So it makes it so easy versus using something straight and you don't know for sure if uh, your measurement is as accurate. So I like this. And then once you've pulled it out, like when you want to pull it out, you mash this button, pull it out like that. And then it stops when you let the button go. It holds it. And then if you're done measuring, you just mash the button and it retracts like that. And I like how you can get the curvature because when you're trying to get your waist and your bust and your thighs, all that's round. So having this curvature to uh, use and then stick it in there like that and then retract it and then it just tightens up to where you need it to be. So I thought that was really neat. I ordered one that I keep in my gym bag, but I wanted to have one at home as well. And that's a great gift item, I think. Somebody could use that who's really into exercise and is uh, tracking their weight. Now, these next three items are more for weatherproofing your doors, uh, your windows, your window seals. And they were $0.29 cents each. And how many feet does it say? I got three of them because it gets drafty here. It gets windy and when that wind blows, it's already cold in the house because of the hardwood floors. But when that wind hits, my goodness. So this says uh, 1.5 centimeters times 2 meters. 1.5 centimeters times 2 meters. I think that's what the M stand for. So I'll have it on the screen nonetheless, but they were 29 cents each, which is a great price, a great stock up price. And you can never go wrong with weatherizing your home, especially for me anyways. I can never go wrong with weatherizing my home. All right, we're going to keep it moving. It's been um, only 34 minutes, okay? 
So well, that was three. Let's go ahead and do package number four. And that's this one. This one I did cross off the address. So yeah, I can show this one. And it's just one envelope in here. Oh, you know what? There's one item I forgot for this last one right here. I almost forgot it. Hold on. Hold on, package number four. So this is the last item in package number three. Now this is a cute, this was $3.47. And you guys, this is an amazing deal. And this is also a diamond painting item, an item to use for the diamond painting kits. And it is a case that has all the tools in addition to more of these containers, I believe. So let's open it up and see. So when I start diamond painting, I'm going to have everything I need. I'm not going to need to add anything additional. But it's this kit right here. You unzip it. It has the carrying handle. It has two zippers. One here, one here. And then you open it up. And see how it, ha well, it's not the same as this right here, but it's the same. It's for the same thing. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. So 30 of these containers, they look like little Tic Tac, the little mint candy. It looks like little Tic Tac containers. And they stick in these slots, which is like a foam. So that holds all the drills here. And then it comes with all of these tools in this mesh pocket at the top uh, that you'll need for your diamond painting. And I forgot how many pieces this kit is in total, but it'll say it on the screen. And let me just show you. So it comes with a little funnel like this. We'll go ahead and take all this out since I'll be using it. So it comes with one of those little funnels to help put them inside the containers like this. So that's what this is for, I'm sure. And then, and it pops down. So I like that. It's silicone. And then it has some Ziploc bags in case you need, I guess, extra storage outside of the Tic Tac containers. Here's the little tray to put your drills in. And then here is some extra wax. How many pieces? And about eight pieces of wax in here. I don't know how quickly you use this. So I'll be finding that out as well. And then it comes with some tweezers. A pair of tweezers. And then it has some stickers. I guess you can use these to put the colors on your Tic Tac container. So once you... Colors or numbers. I think they use numbers when they put them in the kit. So these are stickers that you can use to put on those Tic Tac kits so you can identify um, what number drills are contained in there. And then they give you two of these little things that you put on the pins. <clears throat> so these are the pin items that you use. I don't know what happened to the, <clears throat> the here we go what I hauled earlier, these this magnifying glass thing, what I was trying to say, because I didn't realize I was going to hit all of this in this haul, but this thing goes, oh, it's too big. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I thought it would snap on here and then uh, magnify, but that's too, this is too small, so I don't know. When I edit this, I'll probably figure out what's going on. So just ignore that part. <laughs> okay. So anyways, we have one, two of these. As you see, they're different sizes. One is smaller, one is bigger. So you can pick up a smaller number of drills if you're working in a smaller area. Or if you're working in a wider area, you can probably get like maybe, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight here, maybe five there, maybe two here, depending on where you're working. And then these are to put, oh, there's three of these. There's a blue, a yellow, and a pink. 
then these go just like when you would use them on a pencil you put them on here to keep your fingers soft and protected so you don't get those big blisters on the side of your finger so you slide these on there to make the pencils more comfortable hopefully I'm right about that I'm just guessing because I haven't done one yet and then this is an item once you get a roll you can use this to push them all up to make them stay even so that's all the pieces that come in this kit so let me go ahead oh and one more piece that I have here and that is another tray like this where's the first one so here's the first one that I pulled out it's much smaller but this is the tray, I guess, to pour them back into the containers because it has the little spout at the bottom. And this is the tray to use when you're actually doing the kit. <clears throat> so yeah, I think when I do my first diamond painting kit, I think I'm going to pretty much have everything I need. So let's put everything in one place and um, go ahead and close this up. So yeah, I think I'm pretty good on my diamond painting. Now I know there are many more things that you can purchase because I've seen them, but I think between these things and this light and the containers and this kit, I think I'm good to go ahead and get started. All right, now let's move on to this bag that I pulled out of the fourth order. So that's this one right here. And, are we doing on time? 41 minutes. Okay. So this bag doesn't have a lot at all. I have to make sure that I look under here so that I don't forget something. Okay, that's empty. All right. So this, okay, this is something that I needed. I, uh, when I, whenever I change the batteries in my um, ring doorbell, I always, for some reason, I, when I go and replace them for the new batteries, I stick them inside the package after I take the other ones out. And sometimes I get confused, like, is this the good one or is this the old one? And I don't know why I torture myself like that, but I needed a battery tester. And this is one of those things where I was telling you earlier where I was like, I don't know where I could get one. Where do I get it? Where? I mean, there, there used to be a store back in the day that I would go to for stuff like this. And I'm like, I don't know if they will have it at Walmart. And then something said, check Timu before you do anything. And of course they had a slew of them and I got this one to use for those purposes. So that will get good use. Cause I always put those batteries together and I shouldn't do that, but I do just to torture myself. And the price on this is $2 and 47 cents. So that's what this, what I paid for that. This next item here is, this has been on a uh, lightning deals for quite a while. And it is a ice scraper for your car. It's an ice scraper. Now here in California, we don't get snow, but we do where I live anyways. We do when it gets cold, like in the thirties, we do get that ice that forms on the windshield and I have had ice scrapers in the past that have broken. So this feels like it would do really well. It's very sturdy. It's nice and solid. And this is metal. So I think this is definitely going to work just great. has this protective paper on it. <coughs> so it's actually metal. There you go. And look at how sturdy that is. Look at how nice and thin. So it's going to do well scraping the ice down. And, and nice, it's, it's not too big and it's not too small. So get a good coverage area as you're using it. So I think this is going to work out just great. And it's not going to take up a lot of space to put in the car. Now this item right here is one that I paid $2.47 for these. And these are wooden spoons. Now I bought wooden spoons, <laughs> one wooden spoon, and I liked it a lot. And I wanted to get another one. And I thought this was the same one, but these are smaller than the one that I thought I was getting. And it's a set of five. And these really are more for like eating with like cereal or something or ice cream. But the one that I bought, it was, it was this color 
and it looked like this but it definitely was bigger it was more it was like it wasn't really a serving spoon but it wasn't this small either and it, it was just like the perfect size and I'm like I really like this spoon so when I saw this I'm like oh cool I'll get five more but again these are smaller but I like these I like all the wooden spoon items that they have but I was hoping that these were the other size and when I went back to my order to actually look at the one that I actually thought I was buying, those were um, sold singly, individually, and they were like $1.98 each. So that's when I really knew, okay, these are definitely wrong. But these are nice, though. These are nice. I, I can definitely use them. Now, this item right here, I got two of these. These were $1.27. And these are for your laundry if you want to take care of your lingerie, your bras in specific, specifically. Um, this is a repeat purchase. I have one of these right now and I really like how it worked. I only bought one up front because I wasn't sure how well it was going to work or if it was going to really protect my bras. But it's wonderful because... The way it works, first of all, it's nice and padded, and it zips all the way around like this, and it just opens up wide. And the one that I have, like I've stacked up to two to three bras in here, so that's why I wanted to get some more, just so that I could spread them out and not have to have so many in one. But even the one that I've been using, I'll have, like I just take my bras and just fold them so that they fit in here. You know, I'll bend the sides and bend back the straps on the top, kind of like, oh, this is one strap. So, like, if this was the bra straps, I'll, like, bend it down, and I'll take the sides and bend it over so it would fit in here. And because this is pliable, it allowed me to, I think I had the most was three. It allowed me to uh, zip right around three because, you know, it has room and it's pliable. So, I said, let me go ahead and get a couple more. So if I ever have more than, <clears throat> you know, quite a few bras to wash in a wash, I don't want to try to shove seven of them in one bag. That would just be overkill. So I got those two. I know I like them. The one that I have, I've been using. It's been working just great. It keeps the bras, like, still, and they're not just being all pushed around, even in the dryer. Actually, not in the dryer because I let them air dry. But in the wash, they come out the same way that I put them in. So it really does contain them very nicely. So if you have expensive bras that you paid a lot of money for, I definitely recommend, you know, getting one of these. It will definitely uh, uh, increase the lifespan of your bras. Okay, now this item right here is something for your handbags. I saw this early, early on, but I never thought I had a need for it until I started uh, reviewing handbags and then just getting all of these deals from uh, Timo. Now I'm trying to find the price. $2.44 is what I paid. And that's this hanger to put your purses in. And I think it's one, two, three, four. So it's for eight different purses. So it's double-sided. There's a slot for one purse on this side and a slot for another purse on this side. So one, one, and two. And then it's four sections. So you can hang eight purses in your closet and keep them uh, easily accessible and keep them protected. So I got this for, like I said, all of the different purses that I would be using at the time, I figure eight would be a good number to uh, keep readily available and protected at the same time. All right, you guys, it is 49 minutes. That was four. I'm going to wait on these next two because these next two orders are pretty doggone big. I'll show you. You think I'm playing. That's a big one right there. And then this is also a big one right here. So I don't want to go too far past where we are right now. So I'll save those for next time. So that's my haul for tonight. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please thumbs up the video if you enjoy this kind of content. And 
if you are enjoying my videos, I'm on the road to 17,000 subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe. You're welcome. Everybody's welcome all the time. But anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're enjoying this holiday season. And remember, if you're interested in purchasing anything, the links for all these items will be in the description box, as well as in the first pinned comment. And my discount code for first time buyers is OPT43129. Pop that code in once you place your order before you sign off and they will discount these already low prices by 30%, and then they will offer you a $100 coupon bundle. You can't beat it. So on that note, I'm gonna say goodbye, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.